Hello friends, welcome to SS Unitech. My name is Sushil Singh and this is continuation of Excel tutorial. So today we gonna discuss about index and match function which is available on Excel. So let's move to another slide where I have created a scenario by which we can apply index and match function to get the output. So this is our slide as we can see we have two input sheets. Sheet 1 contains three columns, first is item code then description and quantity. Quantity column is blank as we can see over here. And we have another sheet which contains two columns. First is quantity and then item code. So here we can see we have quantity column is on left hand side and item code column is on right hand side. So if we have item code column on left hand side and quantity column is on right hand side then we can simply apply VLOOKUP as we have discussed in our previous session. So we can apply and we can get the output. But here we have totally different scenario. So VLOOKUP is not going to provide any facility by which we can apply VLOOKUP if the common columns are available on right hand side. So on that scenario we have to apply index and match function to get the output. So let's move to Excel. So we can write formula and we can get the output. So first of all we need to discuss about the index and match function. What match function does? We are going to use match. So match it takes three parameter. First is lookup value. So first of all we need to specify the lookup value by which we want to get the index. And match function will return the index from where that lookup value is available on that array. So here we can see we want to get index of this B. So we can specify B and then we have to specify the lookup array. So we, this is our lookup array by which we want to get the index where B exists. And then third parameter is optional parameter. I am going to put 0 and then we can simply put enter. So here we can see it's going to return 3. So here we can see it's going to calculate from 1 and then it will match B. It's not present in first then move to second and then third so it's available on third position so it will return third and then the index so index so first of all we need to specify the array by which we want to get the value so this is our array and then we have to specify the row number by which we want to get the output so we want to get the output of fifth row and then we can simply put enter. So here it's going to return D. As we can see, our fifth row contains D over here. So this is our index and this is our match. So I hope you have understand how we can apply match and how we can apply index. So let's move to our scenario. So this is our second sheet and this is our first sheet. So we want to get the quantity. So first of all, we need to apply match function to get the index. So this is our look a value and then put comma and go to our second sheet and we want to get from here so we have to specify and then put comma and then zero and then enter so it's going to return the index from where item code exists in our second sheet and then we can apply index so this is our index and then we want to get the values from quantity column so we have to select quantity and then put comma and go to department sheet and in department sheet we want to get values from this index column so we have to select that one and put comma these are the optional parameters so we can skip and we can simply close the bracket and put enter so it's going to return 8 and then we can scroll and we can see so this is our 5 10 450 and not applicable so here we can see this quantity value and this quantity value both are same. So I hope you have understand how we can get the output. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe our channel to get many more videos. Thank you so much.